Tell me about this Canada Day is different from others, but tell yes. me about what it means to you. Because I'm an immigrant, I was born in Holland, I came here when I was nine. Canada means a lot to me. And I'll get all emotional, but it's one of the best countries in the world to live in. I really feel that. Tell me why. Um, so many reasons. There's tolerance for differences, the acceptance of immigrants, the diverse culture that we experience everywhere, whether it's in the schools or in just in town. It's just, it's, like we call this our feel-good town, but I think Canada's a feel-good country. It's just good. You've been here, sorry, eight years? Eight years, yeah. A lot different this year without the Waterfront Festival. It Talk a little be. bit about that. And we always love when the fences go up, we always love the activity because we're in our own little bubble. Nobody can get in or out from the sidewalk, so we're all very isolated from the activity. And yet it's right close by, it's just the excitement. Um, we miss the uh, pier activity when they put the midway into the park because of the pier instability. Um, we miss that part even though it's noisy as heck, but you know what, we figure four days out of the year, worth everything. It's great. Lastly, the flags. Oh, How yes. important the flags are. Important. Flags are important. My husband is English, I'm Dutch, but we are both Canadian. So Canada sits smack in the middle, surrounded by our culture and our heritage. So. It's hard to, but do you get into the spirit of the, I don't want to say season, but I guess the spirit of the event of July 1st? We do, simply by being here. Like, it'll be interesting to see what happens when there's nothing happening here. Um, will we get fireworks? I don't know, because that'll draw people to the waterfront, and the whole idea is to be distant. So that's part of what we will miss, is standing on our rooftop and watching the fireworks, because they're right there. <laughs> so. Um, it will be interesting to see what happens on July 1st, just... Lastly, uh, safe to say proud Canadian, proud... Dutch. Proud person from proud Coburg, person. proud... Proud, Co proud Coburgian, yeah. is that yeah, what you Yeah, I don't know, that's what I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't want either. to say the wrong thing. <laughs> but tell me, uh, what Coburg means to you and Canada? I know you touched on it, but just tell me. Coburg is, to me, everything that a small town should be. Um, there's a community. We have made more friends, and we've traveled a lot, and we've made more friends in the eight years that we've been here, in all the 44 years that we've been married. And so we feel so such a strong commitment to Coburg. Um, the friendliness, the atmosphere here, we seem to live in a little weather bubble, so we don't get the, we don't seem to get the really extreme weather. We see it on the maps, and then it goes like this, and it goes over Coburg, so we think, okay, this is good. So yeah, it's, um, there's an emotional attachment to here and to Coburg itself now. So. But and tell me what happened. On, how many houses or how many? How do I describe? Okay. So there are 15 houses on Kerr Street, and uh, we just thought it'd be really fun. We thought it was a great idea to have this contest, and we thought it'd be really fun to do the whole block up. That would be different. And of course, I'm a little competitive, so I thought, oh, there's prizes, so this would be a really good incentive. And it really worked. Everyone got together. Everyone, we made 75 of those pom-poms. They took forever. And then we decorated up so everything would be consistent, and then everyone just added to their house. And look at how much fun they're having. Like, they're just, honestly. When did it start, and has it ended? <laughs> it has not ended. Uh, it started about a week and a half ago when we started doing the pom-poms. They took much longer than I thought. And then we decorated on Monday, because we knew it was going to rain. And they survived the rain. So, it's perfect. Great community spirit excellent community spirit and we have a very special group of people here and uh, we do get together occasionally COVID is a little trickier but we do get together to have a barbecue once a year and it's a wonderful neighborhood yeah of people helping people last question tell me about uh, talking with the young with young at heart I guess you some of the, some of the ages of the oh yeah the people here are range in, range in age from basically probably about 50 to about 90 and we've had some new people move in and we said to them don't worry we don't do this every year <laughs> because they might think we were crazy <laughs> um, but they got uh, involved too in the decorations and they really enjoyed it so it just you know it makes everyone feel welcome last question I have to ask what's Canada slash what's Coburg mean to you oh gosh Coburg is like a jewel I moved from Toronto I don't know if I should say that but I have never looked back it's a very special place um, you're close to nature, the people, there's a great deal of civility here. 
and the people are just, uh, I don't know, it has everything that one could possibly ask for in a place to live. And wonderful government, a uh, wonderful council of people who really care. And so it's, it's just a wonderful place to live.